Hi guys, my name is Sidra and I'm a pharmacist. I'm here so you can ask your pharmacist any health or pharmacy related questions. In today's video, I'm going to talk about Hepatitis B. Hepatitis B is a liver infection which is caused by Hepatitis B virus. It can be acute or chronic. Some acute infections actually resolve on their own, but some actually transform or develop into a chronic infection. Chronic infection actually could be fa fatal because it can result in liver damage, liver cirrhosis, liver cancer, or even, even death can occur. So what are the symptoms we are looking for in hepatitis B patients? Patients with acute hepatitis B infection actually show the symptoms of fatigue, headache, muscle pain, uh, abdomen pain mainly in the top left uh, sorry top right side of the abdomen they also could have uh, dark color urine fever or lack of appetite could also be one of their symptoms on the other hand chronic hepatitis B shows actually some patients of chronic hepatitis B are actually sometimes unaware that they are suffering from the disease so how can we get the diagnosis these patients exhibit any of the signs or symptoms they need to see a doctor as clinical testing and lab works are required. Now how does the transmission of this virus occur? The transmission of hepatitis B virus actually occurs through blood and bodily fluids. That's why the healthcare professionals are actually at a greater risk of this infection as they are mostly um, exposed to the contaminated uh, blood and bodily fluids. Um, Hepatitis B can be transmitted through blood and bodily fluids. It can be transmitted from mother to the child at the time of birth. It can also be transmitted by sharing syringes or needles. That's why it's a big no-no. Patients who use, or people actually who use drugs should be very cautious about it. Hepatitis B, however, is not transmitted through food, water, sneezing, coughing, kissing. So those are like big misconceptions. Another very important question that many of my patients ask me is that, another very important question that I get asked a lot is that, is there a treatment for hep Another very important question I get asked a lot is whether there is a treatment for hepatitis B or not. So yes, there is a treatment of hepatitis B, however, you have to go see a doctor and there is a proper uh, antiviral or interferon treatment course. So for the treatment, proper uh, medication, a very important question that I get asked a lot is whether hepatitis B has treatment or not. Now acute hepatitis B often gets resolved on its own so no treatment is necessary there. However, when the infection is developed into chronic hepatitis B, then the treatment is necessary. And what do we use for treatment? Antivirals, interferons, and of course for that proper medications and prescriptions are needed, so do consult your doctor about it. They say prevention is better than cure. So, so now I'm gonna focus on the prevention of hepatitis B. The best way to prevent the hepatitis B is vaccination, and the vaccination of hepatitis B is a non-live vaccine. It's very effective. Actually one, of the new, actually, one of the newer vaccine of hepatitis B is considered to be 95% effective. So let's see what these vaccine options are. Two hepatitis B vaccines are Endurex B and Hepatitis B. Now Endurex B is three doses. You get one dose and then the second dose is a month apart. The third dose is six months from the first dose. This vaccine can be given to any age groups, no, no prescription needed. You can just go in the pharmacy and the pharmacist can inject you with the vaccine. It is very important to finish the full series of the vaccine because without that, full protection is not, because without that, we cannot get full protection against the disease. Hepatitis B, however, Hepatitis B, however, should not be administered to people under 18 years, and this is a two-dose series which is given 28 days apart. Now, the spacing of the vaccine the, is very important. Spacing of the vaccine is very important. It's okay to go a little bit over the 28 days period, or um, you know the six months period when we are getting the other kind of vaccine and the three dose series but it's not not okay to uh, uh, lessen the time vaccine for children is available as well in a pedia erics form 
The vaccine for children is available as well. It's a combination vaccine which contains hepatitis B, um, tetanus, diphtheria, acellular pertussis, and also uh, they, it contains a non-live uh, polio vaccine. Uh, that vaccine is recommended for uh, that. That vaccine is recommend can be given between six weeks to seven years, but it's not recommended after that. I'd like to discuss a few key points at the end of the video about the vaccination since it's very important. Like I said earlier, Hepisav B is considered to prevent 90, up to 95% of the disease. And CDC actually recommends that everybody who is eligible or who wants to get protection from the Hepatitis B should get a vaccine. And if you don't have the history or the if you don't have the if you don't have the access to your vaccination records or if you don't know that you have or if you don't know that you've gotten the vaccine before then it's better that you do get the vaccine also it's recommended that patients who have gotten one dose of the hepatitis b but haven't finished the series can finish it anytime it doesn't matter if two months or six months or a year has been passed and now you don't have to start the vaccination series all over you can just uh, pick it up from where you left it. and once you have finished the series no booster is needed so that's it for today's video if you have any questions or concerns please ask in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any informative video in future